Hey, well, welcome back in 546 right now in Maryland's 7th Congressional District. Kwasi and Fume scored a decisive victory over Republican Kimberly Klasik. He got 72% uh, of the vote here in the general election. This was a rematch of the special election earlier this year to, of course, finish the term, which was vacated by the death of Elijah Cummings now more than a year ago. Now, Klasik did get a bit closer this time. Uh, than she did in the special election earlier this year, but not nearly close enough to defeat Kwasi and Fume in this heavily, heavily Democratic district that includes portions of Baltimore City that you see right there, but also large portions of Howard County and portions of Baltimore County. All three of those jurisdictions, Kwasi and Fume built large leads, again, in all three of them. So a relatively easy victory for Kwasi and Fume, despite all those ads that you might have seen on TV put out by the Republican Kimberly Klasik. Let's get a check on that race from Erin McPherson. She's in Federal Hill with the reaction from both of the candidates. Good morning, Erin. Good morning, Christian. Well, Mfume thanked a lot of people for the opportunity to stay in this congressional seat, and then he dove right into the future, talking about the needs for the people in the communities that he represents, specifically focusing on the life we're in now in this pandemic, and also he touched on the gun violence in the city. Now, Mfume has been in this seat since April of this year when he beat Klasik in that special election following Elijah Cummings' death, and since that election, Klasik has been making herself a little more known. She got a lot of attention for her promotional videos walking throughout the city, which Mfume criticized the money spent on those ads. And here's what both Mfume and Klasik had to say after the results came in. I hold out outstretched arms, willing and wanting to listen to you, to work with you, to build with you, to share with you, and to dream with you about a better day in our communities where all of us find a way, at the very least, to take care of ourselves, our neighbors, and our children. We literally worked every single day for about a year. Uh, we went out to the community, to all communities, Howard County, Baltimore County, and in West Baltimore. We talked to people, you know, just provided that option. Um, they didn't choose us this time around. That doesn't mean that they're giving up all hope. Klasik added, this is not the last you'll hear from me. She said she plans to hold M. M. Fume accountable for his promises. Now, M. Fume ended what he had to say after the results came in, stating that he is going to be an independent voice in D.C. Parties do not matter, just the needs of his community members. Reporting live, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.